Lynch. Starting out of the blue <laughs> corner, he trained at American Top Team. He's a mixed martial artist. His record is two wins, one loss, with a standing at five feet, eight inches tall, weighing 135 pounds. He's out of the Otterville, Mississippi. Shake the axe that boy's got a little following here, man. Crowd making some good noise for him. And now in the red corner, he trains out of West Bank Social Club. His fight style, he is a West Banger with a record of two wins and one loss. Standing at five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. He's out of New Orleans, Louisiana. Josh! Lord Even Slayer! Bell! Here we go. Two AIC veterans here. Joshua Bell won his last fight by round two TKO, I believe. So we'll see uh, what happens here. Jake the Striker won his last AIC fight by submission, and Joshua the Wrestler won his last AIC fight by KO. Josh already looking to put some feints, showing Joshua that he wants pressure, to shoot. Yeah, pressuring him, not giving him that space to strike. Jake trying a little hip feint to get some space, but... I like that. Joshua's not respecting it right now. He's just stalking him down, circling. He lunged for that jab. Yeah. He kind of switched stance midway and uh, threw it with the lead hand. Awkward. Switching stance again. Oh, nice step Gets through. clipped on the way in. Jake looks relaxed here. His hand's down. He's just waiting to counter when Joshua steps in. Those feints are really stopping Bell from, from coming closer, or really second-guessing the shot. Yeah. Very good approach by Bilbo. Some lateral movement there, and he lands a little three-piece. Joshua nods his head. So yeah, he, he landed some back. It wasn't one-way traffic. Joshua's face is red. He's wearing it. Oh, and he lands a right hand there. Jake looked a bit rattled there, and he stays on the cage to recover. More lateral movement to get out of there, but he keeps the hands down. He caught a good one in the eye. He, he keeps like the small. hands down, and he fires back. Up kick goes astray. Jake's look. lifting the knee there in anticipation of a shot, I presume. Does that look like swelling on the left eye of Bilbo to you? Ooh. Yeah, I think that was that straight right. Oh, and he lands another left hook on the jaw, and Joshua is landing. Bilbo better pick them hands up. Yep. It's all good when you're moving around, but when you're in the cage, you need to get your hands up. For sure. Nice. Joshua's trying to get a hold of him. He's trying to get inside, but... At this very moment, Josh is figuring yeah. that puzzle out very well. Oh, good uppercut from Bilbo, though, on the inside. And he keeps the hands down. He's sticking to his little approach here. Gut shot. Oh, low blow. We're going to take Ruff a time step out in. The, the pace of this fight has been crazy. They've been on all four corners of this uh, octagon. <laughs> We've seen exchanges. Both guys landing. Jake doesn't seem too pleased with that. He feels like he, that wasn't a low blow. Ref ain't doing a good job at saying where the where Bilbo needs to go. Bilbo looks, seems a little frustrated. Joshua taking a breath. Let's watch that one back. Thank you. Here it is again. He fainted land the right and threw the inside leg kick. I didn't see that land that flush, but it could have been the top of the knee that landed on the cup. Of Joshua Bell. Yeah. He gives a nod to the referee. He's ready to proceed. I'm, so, I'm very confused with what's going on right now. They're resetting them in their corners. A touch of gloves. That's nice from these gentlemen. And back to the action. I think the whole arena needed a break from that because <laughs> they were banging. Jake's had time to regroup. He's back on the feints here, and he's lifting his hands up a little more, opponent. And I think Jake Bilbo's doing a good job of that now. He was frustrated a minute ago, but now he looks as composed as ever. And he started to get the range here. Joshua's not landing as much. It's he's, hard. He's stepping out when Joshua lunges in. It's hard to explain to people how even a fighter can watch their own fights back and be like, 
man, I should never have done that or this and that. So it's easy to say I would do this or that, but even after I've been in there, I'm like, man, what am I doing? Then I think he'll be in a good position to start to take over this fight. He seemed to have gauged the range there. For sure. Nothing was landing. Like you said, Joshua was lunging a little on the strikes, and Jake seems to be uh, getting the reads now, as you can see there. Just keep those hands up. That's... <laughs> I don't know how, why he thinks that's okay. His good movement. Foot. Yeah, good his movement footwork. is great. He moves his feet well, man. Again, stepping out of range here. Joshua's really having to cover ground to land anything. Three shots missed there. He looked like Izzy there, just sliding back. Great feet. Ooh, super far shot by Bell. I think Joshua's going to have to get a bit grimy here and get inside with some dirty boxing if he's going to He was doing anywhere. it in the first, man. He did a great job at landing those hooks on the inside. You can see that kind of uh, bang Muay Thai style that we spoke about here. For sure. He's just great footwork, and he steps out of range. Like, the punches just come within an inch of his face. Good kick by Bilbo there. He's dialed in right now. He's feeling himself for sure. Look at that. Again, Again, Joshua's coming closer on the third and fourth strike. He needs to, he needs to double up on these. Nice little transition. But I don't think he can win this fight on the back foot if he gives Jake space in the center of the cage like this. I mean, he tried there with a five-punch combination. He hit him with a head. Oh, and he lands a head kick right on the eye there of Joshua. Hey, Bell hit him with that there once and burst. Yeah. And his eye seems to be closed there. The toe landed right in the right eye of Joshua Bell. Good kicks now. Starting to be very well for Bill Bell. Good leg kicks. I like that he's mixing it up, lead and rear leg with his leg kicks. If he wanted to, he could kind of sit down and throw a hard shot when he's backing out because he's making Joshua miss, but he's not really making him making him pay for it. Yeah. Jake Bilbo in the black shorts here. Bell looking Joshua to be breathing a little hard. Orange. Yeah. It's hard in there when you can't touch the guy, you know. It's hard when you get your cardio starting to fold, up, fold on you. He's yeah. beating you up a little bit. You're not. You, you lose that confidence fairly fast. They always this say level. you get more tired when you miss. Definitely. He's just swinging at air here, and Jake's really starting to pick him apart with these kicks. I think he's realized he doesn't have to brawl. He's yeah. just in and then he's out. Fatigue Ooh. will make a coward out of any man. Yep. And Jake actually, he actually takes a shot there, Joshua Bell. Far. But Jake is ready for it. If he lifted up a a, a knee or something there. Bell's shots are now super far out. He's not working his yeah. way in and taking the shot. They're just not effective when he's when he's doing that. Bilbo's doing a great job at maintaining the distance. Nice, he threw up another head kick, but Joshua gets to the back there. Great right back up by Bilbo. Nice, he spins around in a strong clinch there. And he's back to the center of the octagon. Neither one of them are quitting on themselves. I like this, man. Two young guys pushing themselves. It's gonna be an interesting third round. A nice slip and a left there. Ooh. Jake Bilbo done well to uh, pull that kick. Yeah, nice. And these Sanimal gloves are really holding up well, putting on some great fights here. They're the best in the business, man. I love Sanimal. I love the quality. Again, customer service, as I keep saying. They're akin to a UFC glove, these uh, Sanimal gloves. For They're sure. really good quality, man. Not too hard, not really too good. soft. And I love the white. The white, just, I don't know, something about white. Gloves under the bright light. Joshua trying to close the distance early here. I'd be interested to know what his corner told him. I want to see if Bilbo goes back to that head kick again. Yeah, he landed it a few times. If he really sat down on it and uh, catches Joshua coming in, that could be night-night. Yep. There it was. You've got to think Joshua knows he's two rounds down here and he's going to have to make something happen. You have to take a risk. Ooh, good cross there. He's not out yet. But he's getting in right there, and then he just doesn't shoot. I don't know if the footwork yeah. is what's throwing him off. but um, I think it's them counters he's been getting smacked with. He kind of lands, and then he takes a step back off the gas. He's going to have to take a risk and stay in. Definitely. If he wants that shot, he definitely has to stay in. His, ooh, those leg kicks are definitely playing yeah. defense now. There's You've the switch. A few times he's, been, he's buckled in there. He catches they him hurt. as he's extending, leaning, trying to catch the punch. They hurt. The punch. And as I always say, if they hurt in the fight, they're going to hurt tonight. <laughs> and they definitely are hurt tomorrow out yeah. of bed. For those of you viewing at home, leg kicks hurt even more the next day when you wake up.
it sucks when you got to fly home. You got to get to the airport. You got to carry yep. your luggage. You got to get on your yeah. plane. That's where you just get, hey, what are we doing in Massachusetts? You just got to get that. Get a wheelchair. Woo, get first <laughs> row, baby. <laughs> Joshua throwing up a head kick of his own here. And by the way, Tuco still has that wheelchair to this day. <laughs> Jake is just supremely com comfortable. Comfortable Ooh. and confident right now. But Joshua stepped in with an uppercut. I think Joshua has to brawl. Sure. Oh, there's make the head brawl. kick again. And he gets him down. Off the head kick. He has to flatten him here. He only has a minute to work. He has a minute to finish this fight, basically. He's just holding it in the waist. Bilbo's doing a good job with the rubber guard. Foot on hips. Yep. His, his camp's really known for he a rubber he's, guard. He's been working on his BJJ. He's known as a striker, but he's got Oh, right to the back. Joshua's in. Is that choke in? We can't see from here. It's under He's the chin. under the chin, but he has to kind of... He has to set his hips back. He has to fall to really get leverage. He's squeezing and trying to flatten him out. He's too high, man. He has to come back. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. He's going to flatten him. He's going to... And he's going Let's for see the if he goes back to it. He has to go back to it. It's in. He's just so high, man. His hips are way too high. Jake needs some mule kick out there. Jake doing a good job of peeling the hook. Yeah, and I think he's going to survive. Yeah, I think so too. Ten seconds, I think he's all right. Great way to try to finish by Josh. He didn't quit on himself. He kept yeah. going. And he Looking won this round if he only had more rounds. Definitely. Good fight by these two gentlemen. Great fight. We go to the scorecard. All three judges scored 29-28. And winner by unanimous decision, Red Corner, Josh the Demon Slayer! Yeah. Wow. I'm shocked by that.